How to make a movie. You can fund your own movie by Pizza saving time. up money. Kickstarter and GoFundMe are also options. Having your family and friends help you save up money would help too. That's what Sam Raimi did when he made The Evil Dead. But you don't want to wait that long or do that much work. You want to get studio funding to make your dreams come true. So what you're going to need is a killer script. You need to write to impress. Sure, you can find someone who agrees on your project, make a low-budget movie with a script that makes no sense, no character development, and a stupid ending. Or you can write something that the studio would want to make and make a name for yourself in the filmmaking business. You'll need to take the script to a producer. Not just any and every producer. You'll want to do research on them, because anyone can say they're a film producer. You want to call a production company, probably one near you, and get a producer to read your script. Producers already have a hundred things to do, so you'll want to make sure your script is in the best shape it can be. Getting a literary agent would also help, as some producers won't even read the script unless there's an agent backing it. A good agent can make sure that the producer reads your script, instead of it being left in a pile. Don't make up a fake agent, though. That would make sure that you can't get a producer. Producers would also like you to have a budget already prepared. Remember, all these steps need to work in order for success, and producers usually don't like to negotiate. You'll want to check your filming locations to know if you have permission to film there and how much it will cost to film there. You also need to make a checklist of things to look for, such as the sound quality, lighting, space, and potential dangers. To make a movie, you're going to need actors. For short films, you'll most likely use your friends and people you know. When working with a studio, you're going to need actor tryouts. Using famous actors for your first movie isn't very likely, especially considering that Robert Downey Jr. accepts a bare minimum of $20 million. You'll see how they work in front of the camera and how well they fit the part. After you get your actors, you'll need a shooting schedule. Shooting schedules are pretty self-explanatory and don't have much more to them. You should also use a call sheet which lists the people and the things you need to film. The next step is the filming. You want to storyboard all the scenes so everyone knows what you're going for. When you're filming, you need to check the framing to make sure everything you want is in the shot and you don't have anything weird or confusing. Check the lighting, sound, focus, and make sure everyone's ready. To tell everyone who's ready to start filming, simply shout standby. You can also tell them you're about ready to start. Having multiple cameras would help to make transitions to closer shots smoother and the audio line up without much work. But uh, make sure neither cameras are visible to the other one. Continuity is also one thing you have to watch for. Before filming, you want to rehearse the scenes with your actors, preferably not on set, probably at a studio. Then you film the scene. When you film, start the camera early and let it run a few seconds long. Before leaving, record plain sound from the location without dialogue. This will come in handy during editing. 